Alright guys, so a while back, you may remember I did this custom. It's Bob, the Ford truck. Uh, if you haven't been to the channel for a little bit, or have never been to the channel, you might not know, but I ended up buying the real version of this truck. And uh, the friends that I bought it from really, really liked this little model that I did of it. And um, so this one's a green light. It's got Yatming wheels. It's got windshield from a different um, green light truck. It's got a grill and a bumper from a different truck. Uh, what else is different here? It's uh, got the got a different bumper, a trailer hitch, got a lift kit, uh, and the tailgate's cut off. So anyway, did a lot of stuff with this one. Used up a lot of little parts on this truck. I'm kind of low on any extra parts right now because of this one. Um. But they really liked it, and uh, so I want to make them one. Obviously, it's not going to be that nice because I don't have any that many parts still. But I do have another Ford High Boy here. This one's a '69 instead of a '72, but it's it's close enough. Or it's it's a '68, '69, somewhere in there due to this this set up here on the grill and the lights and everything but it is close enough it'll work uh this one i got from my buddy chase in a big box of hurdle tractors and whatnot that i got <laughs> there was this was really the oddball in that box first off because it was loose it wasn't in the package and second off it was just kind of unusual that it was in there because it was matchbox. Everything else in there was a Ertl or Speccast or you know one of the higher up companies. This is a 1981 matchbox casting made in Macau. So this was a matchbox international. Uh, so this was right after the the drop off from Lesney. Um, it says mini pickup, but it looks like a full size F100 to me. Got big tires on it. It's the Aspen Ski Holidays truck. And I have two of them here. <laughs> One's not really in any better shape than the other one. So take my pick on which one to, to um, use. And they are slightly different variations. Look at the stripe on each one. The stripe on this one is um, blue, or is white, blue, brown. One on this one is blue, brown, white, so the stripe is a little bit different. Um, I don't know if that's a variation thing or if that's just how the uh, tampo pressed the decals on, you know. Because... Uh, it could have just been offset on this truck. But like I say, one's not in any better shape than the other one. So it doesn't really matter which one I use. Although the uh, the letters are more solid on this one. They're kind of kind of full and fuzzy on this one. So I'm going to use this one anyway just because that's what I... Had picked it out for so I went through those boxes and I found this one in there so that's what we're gonna do with this it's gonna turn into <laughs> a discount version of our model of Bob here so there's a lot that I get to redo that I had a hard time doing the first time like the big gash in the bed Getting rid of the corners in the fenders there where it was rusted out. Cutting half of the bumper off. That wasn't too bad on this one. But it was hard cutting the die cast that's behind the bumper without cutting this corner of the fender off here. 
that won't be too much of an issue here because the bumpers below the fender I'll probably just cut it off from about right here back this way um but yeah and I can't break the glass in this one because <laughs> my extra one is the other Aspen truck that I have so I I had luckily had an extra one of these when I was carving the cracks in it I broke it so luckily didn't break this one had, had an extra so so that's what this one's gonna be hopefully I can get it done before Christmas and it can be their Christmas gift fingers crossed that happens I'm not gonna hold my breath okay so got the truck apart here I carved the crack in the windshield the windshield just needs cleaned up now I want to show you something interesting I noticed on this truck or on this casting bar show you that in a minute there's our suspension bar and our axles which are actually straight and don't need straightened out and our base is also die cast 98 and 107 I think that's what this part was too yep so that means these two pieces go together and I'd be interested to see what part number this truck body is see this punched out disc right here guess what this has a casting line from can you see that round indent in here this is a recycled casting from this truck but unfortunately this one says Ford on the back and this one doesn't they even have the same license plate number KB 86 no 896 now wouldn't you know but guess what Ford and this one doesn't say Ford. I have to actually write Ford on the back of that one. I think if this is the same casting. I'm making a lot of work for myself here. I have a whole bunch of extras of these yellow trucks here. I'm just thinking out loud here. This says Ford on the back. I could just cut this whole space out here and cut this whole space out here and swap them in one of my junk trucks that's like this. This is my nicest one. I just had this out as an example to see that wheel. That wheel has an animal that's supposed to be on there and then it spins around. But Because if they have the same part number, and it's definitely a recycled casting, so I bet they're precisely the same. Yes, they are. And they both have a tab in the front, or in the back, and a rivet. Yeah. Yeah, that would work. I'm going to think about that. I don't know if I'm going to do that, but I'm going to think about it. Because I'd still use this bed, because this has the grooves in it. I don't want to fool with filling one of these in. I'm sure one of those Rollomatics has both of the tabs busted off of the wheels, so it doesn't spin around anymore anyway. I've got a few of these that's real beat up. I hate to have to do that. That's going to be a big pain in the butt. Oh, I suppose that would work too. I could just cut it at the back of the cab. That wouldn't be too bad. Just cut it at the back of the cab. Hmm. Because everything else is the same. Yes, I could do that. I'm going to see how many junk trucks of this I got. One of them 
They're parts trucks anyway. They're in my parts box. You know, some of them got a bad windshield or bad wheel or, you know. They're all chipped up really, really bad. This one's by far the nicest one. I'll find the worst one of these I've got and maybe swap some beds here. All right, folks, it happened. And this is all there is to it, Rollomatic. There's a piece with a gear, or little spikes in the bottom, and then there's a tab on the wheel. And if you know how gears work, this tab goes into this little gear and when it's together and it's holding it, that gear catches those tabs and it spins it around. So there you go. I'm keeping the blue windshield for the truck though. Alright, well that's good. I cut them evenly. I was worried about that. Even though it was the same casting, I was worried I wasn't going to cut it evenly. So now I get to cut the floor out of this and the floor out of this. And then they can go back together. I didn't even have to take this guy apart. So that's nice. Well, three hours and two rotary tools later, this is as far as we've gotten. So, I'm going to say cutting the floors out of these beds is going to be more of a challenge than what it needs to be. So, you know what we're going to do. We're going to put this little round thing in here. Cut these gear teeth off of the bottom. And then we're going to Put some putty over the whole thing and figure out how to run grooves in it. And this bed is just going to go on that guy. Well, it looks like the paint has come off of it. Okay. Once that quits dripping, I will dry that one off, or wash it off. So, yep, most of it came off. What didn't come off, we've got a wire wheel for. So now let's look at the chassis. So we got the truck back here from me painting it. I paint stuff over at my grandpa's because his uh, barn is climate controlled. So I don't get any orange leaf in my paint if I paint over there. So. Leaving my squeaky chair. Um, the base of it, I think, came out pretty good. And I have to say, I really like the uh, Rust-Oleum Chrome. Seems like it lays on there pretty good. I'm going to detail this grill in and the lights and everything later on. Our bed doesn't look... A whole lot better painted than it did when it was uh, not painted but as you remember the reason I used the bed that had the turntable in it was because it said forward on the back and the red one did not so that's why we use that and then 
I took the little tab that goes goes in right there. No, that's not what I did. Um, that tab come from somewhere on this bed. Oh, it came from up here on top of the tailgate. There's a little clip-on thing where the the dome would go over the bed. Well, I cut that clip off and then glued it back down in the slot. Now the bed is mostly even. The paint doesn't have to be perfect on this because of what truck it is. And the only place it bubbled up was where I kind of expected to have paint issues. And you won't see that part anyway. Somehow we ended up with one red pillar and one white pillar. I apparently missed half of that pillar when I taped it off, so I'm going to touch that up by hand. I'm not too worried about this scratch here. Once I detail all the rust spots in on the truck, you won't really be able to tell anyways. Um, so I think overall it came out pretty good. So one luxury I have not ever experienced before. If you're detailing little things like dents and rust in a vehicle, um, if you're doing a custom of something you have, like this Ford truck, then it's real easy to come out and look at the thing and uh, figure out where your rust and stuff's at. What is smeared all over? Apparently I got... I don't know what that is. It's all black. Have to clean that off of there. Anyhow. Um, this is the big gash. You know, you got where the seam's at and all that stuff. Um, both models... Oh, I still have that mirror back there. Both models I've done of this truck. I've just done the whole bed brown because it's easier. Um, the bumper is all brown. When I started the model, this was painted brown. Or it wasn't painted, it was rusty. So, this was not painted black yet. Um, the other model I did before I owned this truck. So I didn't know it had a black dashboard and I gave it a brown dashboard. Um, I don't have any more mirrors, so my little model isn't going to have any mirrors this time around. It still gets the broken bumper and cracking the windshield and all that fancy stuff. Um, the letters are very small on a 164 scale model. And I don't have the means of painting those on there, but I did get the rust and stuff. There's not really a lot of rust on the hood of this truck, but something I did add onto my model this time around that I didn't on the first one is the little rusty spot on the roof, which I did not add to the first model, mostly because I didn't know about it. I actually didn't know about it when I bought the truck. It was sitting in the garage, and I came down the steps, and I realized, oh, that's got a big brown spot on the top of it. So we're going to do our final assembly here. Try not to touch the ends of the wheels too much, because they are still a little tacky, I would imagine, because they're not quite done drying. I assume this piece can go either direction. So, my best guess would be Mike and Tony aren't going to actually, like, push this 
across the floor a lot so the fact that this rivet here isn't um, going down it goes down but this hole's too big so it just kinda sits there but it doesn't make the truck sit any different and my best guess would be it's gonna be sitting somewhere if they have it you know so I'm not too worried about it coming apart so we got the truck all put back together got the rust job done on it got the wheels rusty got the lights all painted in there windshield wipers yeah so everything is pretty much the way it is for the most part it, this this was not apparent when I um, started this build the yellow truck has this body line here and the red truck does not have the body line even though they are the same body style of truck so we're kind of missing a body line on the cab which I didn't really notice until it was painted white and then I was like oh crap but it's alright because we got the Ford on the tailgate now filled in that little tab hole on the tailgate which is the same as this one basically what I did I just cut this tab off and glued it down in that hole instead of having it up above got the lights and the bumper painted in and the Ford letters are not very well painted in when you zoom in on it but just looking at it with the naked eye it looks alright the bed doesn't look so hot but it's better than it was when I started out because before it just was smooth and didn't have much of anything the paint helped it a lot the brown paint made it not so evident um, there's the base a little flake of white paint there there we go so I'm pretty happy with how it all came out not thrilled about some things that the bed didn't go super well but it looks all right looks good enough to sit on the shelf looks good enough to present to them this truck I got the little rust spot on the top just like the real truck the nicer model I did did not have that the hood really does have a gap between the grill and the bottom of the hood because of this being wrecked over here so I must have ground on it or something to make it not fit that well. I don't really remember what I did. I had to do something to make it not fit that way because it fits over here. But it fits like it does on the real truck, so I'm not really worried about what I did. Um, due to the brush guard being here, filling in the grill was with the right looking lines was kind of a challenge. but not my best work by any means however this is why I don't try to do things more than once because when I try to replicate something twice usually the second one is not as great but they will have one that they can appreciate and laugh at and whatever they want to do with it so like, comment, subscribe for more. Have a great day, and I'll catch you in the next video. So I ended up putting Bob in a little M2 case, and um, 
painting the base brown like dirt and uh, uh, the reason I call the truck Bob I don't think I ever said this previously in the video the original owner's name was Bob Ludwig and um, so that's where the truck got its name and Bob built the little cabin that is behind the truck here and um, that's on Mike and Tony's property there so I thought that would be a nice little background for the truck <laughs> 